So at the end of March, I put out a video called Releasing a Sloth. However, at the time, I didn't really think it through. Uh, the, the, the premise was pretty simple. It was, I was going to submit a one pet team, which was just the sloth, into the arena pool and then challenge viewers to try and get matched with that sloth by submitting their own one pet team. However, the sloth came on turn 11 in custom packs, and so you had to play through an awful lot of turns just to get the opportunity to try and get matched with the sloth. And I actually think that the later the game goes, uh, the more likely it is that one pet teams are just ignored for matchmaking purposes. I, I could be wrong, but um, I don't think I've ever been matched with a one pet team from turn 10 onwards. Um, I've definitely faced a couple of twos and threes, I think, but um, never a one. So because this is the slot is going to come next turn on turn four, so all you have to do is get to turn four, submit a solo pet team yourself. This is in turtle pack, so everyone can try it. Although if you're in a lower matchmaking bracket, I assume I'm in the top bracket because it's the same bracket as Suboptimal and Scooty and the rest of them. Um, you won't be, I don't think you can get matched with me. But here you can see I'm on four hearts and one trophy. So ideally you want to be on one trophy as well and have equal or higher hearts. I think that's the, the most likely way to get matched with it. Of course, it may just be that one pet teams are still gonna be ignored this early. Although given that I have had the um, solo Ram matching with the solo Sloth in the past, um, which was basically what inspired the, the sloth release video in the first place, that would think that was on turn six. So you would think it would definitely be possible on turn four. And we're also gonna see some evidence that uh, in a minute that it, that it does seem to take into account the, the number of pets you have on your team when matching. But of course, there are very few people actually submitting solo teams even in the early turns. So here we're gonna get matched with a full uh, five squad, which is not surprising, and the sloth's going to get demolished, although he did try his best. But I think the next turn, we're going to see something a little bit different. So I'm still I'm still on one trophy, and I think I'm going to remain on one trophy for the rest of the game. But if you submit a, a solo pet team on turn four, and you've only got one trophy, you're probably not going to win any more games. However, you can see here what happens. I do get matched with a two squad, elephant plus rabbit, and it's a draw. So... Um, yeah, I'm just buffing the sloth because there's nothing else to do. I think if I really wanted to to win a round, I would probably be better putting garlic on it and hoping for another of those um, horse <laughs> cricket B teams. But uh, that's not going to happen. And here the sloth actually does not too bad, but of course the, the ox in the back generates the melon and uh, prevents the, the draw. So two hearts left. Um, it's not looking good for our intrepid adventurer, but <laughs> he's just uh, he's just out there for for the uh, participation award. So yeah, we're we're gonna get to turn eight. So you've got quite a few turns, uh, quite a few opportunities from turn four to eight to potentially get matched with a sloth. And you can see I changed my mind there and gave it um, uh, garlic instead. But um, in a final insult, I'm gonna get matched with uh, scorpion and uh, the Sloth's run is over. But hopefully his run will live on because he's gonna get matched with a whole bunch of you viewers. So good luck and let me know how you get on in the comments.